I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the staghorn sumac. Staghorn sumac, Res tafina, which is the currently accepted scientific name. The alternate is Res hirta. Another common name is velvet sumac. It is a member of the Anacardiaceae, or the sumac or cashew family. Other members of this family include cashew, mango, pistachio, poison ivy, and poison oak. There are 14 species of sumac native to United States. This small tree or tall shrub typically grows up to maybe 30 to 40 feet tall with a diameter less than 10 inches. The tree usually has a short, poorly formed trunk with a wide spreading open crown. Staghorn sumac can become weedy or invasive on some sites, but it is shade intolerant and will not persist in a forest that has a closed canopy. It is an important winter wildlife tree and used in landscape planting. Staghorn sumac is native to the northeastern United States into Michigan and Minnesota and the Appalachian Mountains. It is found in north central and central Kentucky with some occurrences in a few counties in western Kentucky. Staghorn sumac is primarily a tree of the forest edge and disturbed sites as well as old fields. It grows on dry, rocky, or gravelly soils. In Kentucky, staghorn sumac can be confused with smooth sumac and the tree of heaven. Staghorn sumac is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are pinnately compound, which is a leaf that's made up of numerous leaflets that are arranged on each side of the leaf's central stalk or rachis. The leaves are typically 16 to 24 inches long and have between 11 to 31 lance-shaped leaflets. The leaflets have serrated margins and are between 2 to 5 inches long and they're green above and pale below. The leaf stalk or rachis is very fuzzy. It's said to resemble deer antlers in velvet, which this is a really good identifying um, characteristic for this tree. Staghorn sumac has showy fall colors of vibrant red. Staghorn sumac is usually dioecious, meaning there are male trees and female trees. The flowers are small and have yellow-green petals. The flowers are grouped in upright cone-shaped clusters that are usually about 8 inches long. The tree flowers in midsummer, usually between June through July, and the flowers are pollinated by many species of short-tongued bees, wasps, and flies. Staghorn sumac also forms large, dense colonies via root sprouts, and studies have shown that this mode of reproduction results in the largest number of stems. The fruit of staghorn sumac is a red, fuzzy droop, which is a berry-like fruit. The droops are about 1 8 inch in diameter and are in upright cone-shaped terminal clusters. The droops mature in late summer around September and they'll persist into winter. The fruit is eaten by a variety of wildlife who are responsible for seed dispersal and seed germination is enhanced by passing through the animal's digestive system. Staghorn sumac is considered a consistent seed producer, producing some seed every year. Staghorn sumac bark is gray-brown and smooth, and it's also fuzzy when the tree is young. As the tree ages, the bark becomes somewhat scaly with visible lenticels, which are small openings that allow the passage of air. Staghorn sumac wood has a consistently yellow to olive green coloration, one of the few woods that do. The sapwood is grayish white. It is ring porous or semi ring porous, which is wood that has larger vessels in the early wood, the wood that's formed in the early part of the growing season, than in the late wood, the wood that's formed later in the growing season. The early wood and late wood vessels form one growth ring. Ring porous structure is mainly present in regions with distinct seasons. Sumac is rated as non durable regarding decay resistance. It is not a commercially important wood due to the tree's small size, but is occasionally harvested by hobbyists for specialty wood products. Staghorn sumac is an important winter wildlife food for a variety of animals. The fruit is an important winter food for game birds, including ruffed grouse and ringneck pheasants, bobwhite quail, wild turkey, as well as 30, more than 30 different species of songbirds, including robins, bluebirds, and mourning doves. Fox squirrel and rabbits eat the bark, and white-tailed deer and moose browse on the leaves and stems. Staghorn sumac is planted as an ornamental, particularly for low water use plantings, although its habit of producing root sprouts is detrimental to lawn maintenance. The wood is used for small specialty items such as turned bowls and serving utensils. The fruit is used to make beverages such as sumac tea and lemonade, as well as herbal tonics and jelly. All parts of the sumac, except the roots, can be used as a natural dye.
The National Champion Staghorn Sumac is located in Revilla, Montana. It is 44 inches in circumference, 19 feet tall, with a 26-foot crown spread. There currently is no staghorn sumac listed for Kentucky as champion. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about staghorn sumac. The common name of staghorn sumac is due to the velvety texture and the forking pattern of the branches, which is reminiscent of deer antlers in velvet. The tree is rich in tannins and was used for leather tanning in Appalachia. The leaves and berries of staghorn sumac were mixed with tobacco and other herbs and smoked by Native Americans. The scientific genus name Russ is from the Greek Russ, which is the common name of the sumac. The species name Tafina means cat tail like, referring to the hairy branches. I'm glad you joined me to learn about this sumac, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the splendid staghorn sumac.